So I just intubated this dog uh, for surgery and I am now tying in the tube and I will blow up the cuff to the appropriate place and, and get a little bit of air so I'm going to inflate a little bit more and our breath is holding. All right so before we move this dog into uh, on the, into his back for prep. We'll disconnect, always disconnect just to make sure you're not causing any trauma, uh, tracheal tears or anything like that. So I'll turn the uh, oxygen off and we'll disconnect and then we'll flip. And now we will reconnect, turn our oxygen on along with some gas. And we're ready to start prepping. Okay, so the patient has been prepped and we're ready to move into the surgery suite. So I'm going to work backwards from disconnecting from my monitoring equipment and um, my fluid pumps. And the last thing I'm going to do is detach her from the ISO and oxygen. Uh, we need to keep her anesthetized as long as we can since we're moving into another room. So that'll be the last thing that we, that we do. All right, are you guys ready to move her? Okay. We'll go ahead and turn off our oxygen and our gas. And before we move her, always remember to detach from your breathing tube. One, two. Okay, we're ready to go. And the first thing we'll do is hook her back up to her breathing system here so she can get some more isoflurane and stay asleep. Monitoring equipment is on. Next I'll get our fluids going again. All right, so our patient is now hooked up to monitoring equipment, our fluids and CRI and the ventilator, and she is ready to uh, go to surgery.